Hi, my name is Simon from Motodrome, which is www.moto-drome.com. Today we're going to have a look around a bit of a weird rarity, if you like. Um, probably the rarest mini derivative you've ever seen. Uh, this is called an RTV, uh, which I think stands for Rough Terrain Vehicle. Um, basically, it's a mini under the skin uh, with a A-series engine and everything, but uh, articulated body. I think it'll do a maximum of about 25 mile an hour on the road. It is road legal, but uh, uh, it's more of a, an off-road vehicle from that point of view. Anyway, hope you like it. So let's take a walk around this uh, deregistration. So 1986 RTV. Now this is probably the rarest derivative you'll ever find of a, uh, uh, of a Mini uh, with an A-series engine. Um, two-wheel drive, I would imagine, was it, I don't know if it's two-wheel, two or four-wheel drive in fairness. Um, I think it's I think it's two-wheel drive because it is articulated on the body there but um could be four-wheel drive i'll have to look it up on that on that side of things so uh, correct me if i'm wrong um but yeah it's basically a mini a, a series running gear under the skin and i think they didn't make very many of these i think about 25 in existence um but it's a proper rough terrain vehicle um and especially we'll try and show you a photograph of it but the um the body is articulated um, let's walk around it slowly. Looks like something off of Space 1999. But very good if you've got a chute or uh, a lot of land or something. So we'll start at the front. I mean, talking about good bits and bad bits, really any bad bits. You've got a couple of sort of little dinks around the front here, but as there's one there as well, I'm not sure if they're not supposed to be there or not. I don't know, really. It's not as clean as it could be around the front end, in fairness, at the minute. And there's a couple of um, chips of paint under the front there. <clears throat> Let's see under there. Actually, I think it is four-wheel drive. I can see drive shafts under there. It's automatic, incidentally. Let's have a look inside. Doors are a little bit flimsy, but uh, nice Sparco bucket seat for the uh, for the driver, and a big sort of one or maybe at a pinch two man bench seat here. And we've got. Um, We've got stereo in it. Uh, Mini um, Speedo showing 8,400 miles. Mini steering column, I think. And down here we've got all sorts of carling switches for um, reading them upside down. Interior lights, engine bay light, engine fan, winch isolator, uh, UHF radio, roof LED light bar, strobe lights and rear roof light um, it's all been uh, properly built so that is the articulated section under there and I imagine the engine is in there i'm afraid i don't know how to get the um the engine cover off though Unless you do it, um, oh, I'd imagine the engine cover is underneath there, which I'm not going to get off. Um, go around the back end here, a bit more detail. It's only an interesting thing. Disc brakes on the back, unlike a Mini. And then in the driver's side, there we go. There we have it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 
you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com. End.